Hello Pisces, it's Prado G and I'm here with the general collective reading for your sign. I hope you guys are having a great day today. If your birthday is between February 19th and March 20th, then you are the lovely sign of Pisces, the final sign of the zodiac cycle and the final and third water sign of the cycle. Much love to y'all. Peace, love, and prosperity. May the divine protect this message and those watching. And take whatever resonates for you and leave behind what does not resonate for you in this reading. The significant number is four. All right. So four is all about stability, planning, foundations, and order. What's the basis of this reading for Pisces? We got honesty. Hmm. I feel like... Somebody is getting in alignment with honesty or you're just um, planning on being more honest. That's what I'm getting here. Somebody could be really building a strong foundation with someone in a relationship off of honesty as well. Because you know that honesty is what brings true order. That's the second card that flipped over. But honesty and guilt. So guilt came up too. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth is what the guilt card says. So it's like if it's not serving you, if the beliefs are not serving you or if the people are not serving you, then it's time to release them without feeling guilty. OK, and you got to be honest with yourself, because that's one of the most challenging things for us to do is to be honest with ourselves, because we try to lie to ourselves when we want to stay in a specific position or we just don't feel comfortable with a certain change or just the truth, you know, as a whole. So superstition came up and sister soldier is coming up again with the power card in reverse. So I feel like somebody could be feeling a little bit weak right now and you might be feeling superstitious or paranoid about something going on around you, but you need to be honest with yourself. And if you feel like somebody hasn't been being honest with you, then it's time for you to take your power back. Because honestly, I feel like somebody could be being stripped of their power by um, being in the energy field of somebody who is just, you know, not 100% respecting them. But it's like you want respect and that's what you're going to get. And at the end of the day, you're not going to feel guilty if you got to cut off somebody because they just refuse to respect you. It's like you could be a, a one little tough cookie sometimes, but at the end of the day... As long as you know that you are being respectful to other people, you respect their boundaries, there's nothing wrong with you expecting that same respect in return. And I feel like some people could try to make you feel guilty for being so strong and headstrong. But it's okay at the end of the day. If you want respect, you got to give it and you got to beat it and you got to demand it at the same time. But you can't demand it if you're not giving it. So be mindful of that. Um, but I do feel like somebody needs to respect themselves a little bit more and don't feel guilty about it spirituality so this card shows up with erica baidu when it's time for you to get into your meditative state for you to practice what it is that you preach also being very much mindful of how you are allowing people to treat you nikki d shows up here um, with order. So yeah, something is about to come in alignment. Something is about to work out for you. Some things are about to get very organized. So you can put the superstition aside and just have faith that everything is going to work out properly in order and the truth will come to light. The truth is coming to light. Okay, see, so here somebody definitely has I feel here this could be speaking to a weakened personality. Maybe somebody has um lied to you so much to the point where it's like you personally just don't feel like yourself but you need to be honest with yourself what do you feel like is getting in the way of your yourself what do you think is getting in the way what is stripping you of your power pisces be honest with yourself what do you think is taking your power away from you who do you think is taking your power away from you we got mood okay gauge low she definitely demands respect. Both of these characters right here are both. All of the women in this deck are respected. But I feel like right now, this is the mood that you're in. You're maintaining this mood of respect for yourself. It's like I have a lot of respect for myself and I got respect for other people, too. So at the end of the day, don't put me in a bad mood. 
by trying to disrespect me or play with me. And it's like, you're not feeling guilty about it. It's like, Deja Loaf is a mood because um, she's going to say how she feel. She's going to speak on it. And I feel like that's what you're being called to do right now. If you haven't been in the mood lately, um, there's something that I feel like you just need to release. And you're going to find a greater respect for yourself when you finally do. Potential. Your potential could be being blocked, too. So pay attention to your mood. Pay close attention to your mood right now. Because if you're not feeling good or if you're feeling low because of somebody else or what they have done to you, it's time for you to make a, a, some space between you and that person. But you are full of potential. You just might not realize it. There could be something that you're not seeing right now. There could be some sort of untapped potential within you that needs to come out. Young and May is all about self-actualization. So it's like you need to actually make yourself into the person that you want to be, the person that you see for yourself. It's all about future plans, but you might not be planning for the future or there's a strong sense that you need to separate and get rooted into your spirituality to connect with spirit right now. So that you can um, clarify your vision. What do you see for yourself professionally? And what do you, what type of goals do you have? What goals are you setting out to meet? Also, I feel like somebody could be a very good spiritual advisor, maybe. And you don't realize that. It's time for you to make it real, though. It's time for you to put it to practice. Show me Pisces. Okay, we got the Five of Swords in reverse. There's definitely some sort of mental term oil or conflict, but there's always a happier way to go about things, all right? Uh, clear your mind of this defeat. I feel like somebody could feel defeated. Also, you might have some uh, birds chirping in your ear trying to get the best of you and take you off your course, knock you out of your course, but shake them off. Also, I feel like something could have been very out of order. Like somebody could have did some real shady, sh shady ish to you. It could have been an air sign too. You could have been dealing with some sort of air signs or some friends. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But here I feel like somebody is trying to take advantage and take it all for themselves. But be honest with yourself because look, this is all about material, being super materialistic or just not nurturing your creations, not being gentle, gentle. This is a lack of maternal energy. This is a lack of compassion with this emperor showing up in reverse. And like I said, I feel like somebody could have really tried to play on your top. Mm. Also, I'm getting an energy of neglect. So somebody could have left you, neglected you or something like that. And it made you feel weak or powerless. And it really had a toll on your personality or the way that you've seen yourself um, and how you show up, right? But be mindful that there is a major need for you to embody this empress energy. Make sure you are taking care of the women around you. If you have gotten someone pregnant lately, um, I feel like this is a strong need for you to be honest with them. Also, uh, the empress in reverse is an indicator that you need to depend less on others and more on yourself. In terms of your manifestations and what you're trying to create. Because nobody can manifest your life for you but you. And then we got the Queen of Cups showing up in reverse. And then we got the Queen of Pentacles. So, oh, hmm. So, look at this. You're going to be very much rich or well, well um, footed in terms of finances and support. <clears throat> I'm getting a lot of support coming in for you. But here with this Queen of Cups, this is definitely telling me that... Either somebody doesn't respect you as an individual and they are just using you and draining you. You might even feel drained because you pour so much energy into other people. And it's like all you want is some respect in return and you might not be receiving it. But <clears throat> you might be feeling emotionally unavailable for these people. Um, and you might really be needing to cut them off so that you can really regain yourself emotionally. So do what it is that you need to do the queen of cups is here to let you know um the same energy that you pour into others pour that energy back into yourself love yourself and don't feel guilty for doing it if you feel like you need to separate from other people to um be your own therapist <clears throat> or to seek therapy <clears throat> then do that 
because that's what I'm seeing right here. It could be somebody that is really dealing with a range of, a wide range of either toxic emotions or suppressed emotions and they're coming out. And it's a need for you to respect yourself enough to be able to do that because otherwise you're going to feel guilty if you don't take care of yourself. How can you take care of everyone else except for yourself, right? Oh, wow. That wanted to come out too. All right, we got the Queen of Pentacles showing up here. But I feel like as you work through this, you're going to be, as you respect yourself more and you start to support your own self and your own dreams and endeavors, yes, you're going to be the Queen of Pentacles, which is where you're um, showing up so much more beautiful in this world. You are able to tap in to the natural side of life. Feeling more natural, I feel here. Somebody is going to be taking the more natural route here, either changing your diet or just getting more in tune with the universe and nature. Um, I do feel that you have a very a graceful mood at this point in time too as you work through this and release the guilt you're going to be feeling so much more at peace this was the second card that came up too and five of pentacles and the two of wands so yeah um the spirit is about to give you some sort of money so that you can go on this journey there's a journey that you're looking forward to take you're looking out the window and you're planning it's like you're ready to advance and make some major progress in your life and it's time for you to come out of this lack phase, this lack state. So I feel like right now there's a major potential for you to make some money right now. Or spirit is about to assist you and send in some sort of help and relief. But you do got to lift your head up though. It is time for you to lift your head up and stop throwing this pity party or worrying so much about you not being able to achieve your goals or feeling like you don't have what it takes because you do. And it's time for you to actually realize that and practice put forth the work be more mindful of how you are looking at the world and how you are looking at yourself in the world because you are full of potential and god got you spirit got you spirit is here guiding you and always assisting you but you must be on the lookout for the signs you must be ready to move forward and keep pushing forward and not get wrapped up in anybody else's guilt or allowing other people to continue to drain you and you keep on neglecting yourself and not taking care of yourself because you got to put you first, Lucius. <laughs> you got to put you first. But I'm going to leave this reading here. Uh, and I really do appreciate you all so much. Thank you for coming, Pisces. If you have anything that you want to talk to me about in the comment section, feel free to comment below. Give this video a thumbs up if you resonated with it on any level. And um, share if you care. Until next time. Peace, love, and prosperity.